Hi, I'm Chris Wallace from Walnut Hollow, and today we're talking about wood burning on wooden spoons. We see a lot of spoons that are wood burned on Pinterest, and if you look at the Walnut Hollow Pinterest boards, you'll see um, several different ideas of, of spoons that we um, pinned onto our board. But I thought that these would make great gifts for friends. Um, they're inexpensive and you can do all kinds of things to personalize them and create designs that you think your friends would like for gifts. Um, this particular spoon is um, a darker spoon. It has, um, I rubber stamped a design on it and then wood burned it. Um, this, this spoon was rubber stamped also with a design and on this one I just did some writing on the handle and did some fun design on the back again using a rubber stamp idea and on this spoon I simply wood burned with the um, shading point and used a universal point and personalized it with the letter J so I'm going to show you a little bit how to make some of these spoons. So when you go into the store, if you look on the internet, you'll find all different kinds of spoons available. Some of them are lighter and the wood is a little softer and some are darker and the wood is a little harder. Just you can wood burn on any kind of wood. It doesn't matter. I also use a creative wood burner to create the designs. It's lots of fun it comes with four different points so there's lots of creativity in the value pen there's lots of places to look for ideas to put on your wooden spoons sometimes there are rubber stamps that just fit on the surface of the spoon that you can use and sometimes there's a rubber stamp that doesn't fit as well but if you take the rubber stamp and stamp it onto a piece of paper, you can enlarge the design and, uh, and trace it onto your spoon using transfer paper. So I used the, the copy machine to enlarge my design and then I used transfer paper to trace the um, design directly onto the spoon itself. Another idea you can use is a stencil and this is a small, it's called a mini mandala and I would simply lay it down and I tape it in place and then trace the design with a pencil. Or you can doodle just different things that you wanted to doodle or you can use a Zentangle inspired designs. So um, the Zentangle books are great to get all different kinds of ideas. But let me show you a little bit about actually burning onto the surface of the spoon. I have the Creative Wood Burner here with the cone point attached. And this is my trace design. So I'm just going to follow along the line itself. and. I can keep my pattern close at hand so I can see the little details that I might want to burn onto the surface. And you don't want to push hard. Just follow along with the pattern that you've traced and you can wood burn the entire piece. It's fun because you see it start to come to life as you move along. So that's a very easy way to fill in your design using a rubber stamp that's been enlarged. I also have another spoon that I've started to um, add some tangle designs to it. And I've just gone around the edges, creating the design. And I'll just follow along 
and simply burn into the wooden spoon. You can go back and fill in any spaces that you wish. So it's fun to just kind of play around with it. Maybe add a few little dots here and there. Very easy to do and you really can't make a mistake. If you make a mark that you don't like, you can just go back and fill it in with something else. Making bigger circles and little circles. Just don't press too hard. Make a partial circle. Dots are always fun. Just touch the point of the tool onto the surface. Now on this one, if I want to add an initial, because I'm personalizing it for a gift, I have a hot stamp here. And remember that any of the hot stamp um, alphabet sets fit on any of the Walnut Hollow Hot Tools. I'm going to just practice on a practice board first and then go directly onto the spoon. And now it's pr I can personalize by adding other design and wood burning onto the front of the spoon to go along with the back. So that's all about wood burning on spoons. Make sure you check out the Pinterest board um, that Walnut Hollow has set up on wood burning. And thanks for watching. See you next time.